not part of Canva Glow Up because I didn't make it in time for the 1 million users that are busy testing and trying out to Glow Up. I still have the old Canva, but I want to show you the creative side of things that Canva has already rolled out to us creators. For one, Canva is focusing more on teams. Team, 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 team. And corporates. But for us creatives, we still need to know what has changed, what has come into my world as a creative to see how I can incorporate that in my workflow and make my designs better. This video is all about that to see what has changed. The first one that I wanna show you is if you're on your homepage and you go to templates, once on templates, there's one that says new and it's available to all of us, even though we're not part of the glow up. When you select work kits, like I said earlier on, Canva is focusing on corporate teams and they are growing that side of things. But as creative, we can, there's takeaways for, for us as creative to use the work kits. The four work kits that they've rolled out, it is marketing, sales, human resources, and creative. And with these work kits that they've rolled out, when you have a sales pitch that you would like to do, you can use the templates that are already there, the apps that are going to guide you, etc. I want us to scroll to creatives because we are creatives and have a look at what it is that we can take away from there and use. Immediately when you look at the work kits for creative, there are templates that you can customize and use and carry on your job. Maybe you have a proposal that you need to create. So you can go find that and start creating from templates and add your flair and add your brand colors, etc. And it helps you do the work quicker than the old way that we were doing it. The templates that are available for creatives, there's creative briefs, there's creative production, there's project management. And when you scroll down, you can ideate and come up with clever ideas for yourself. There's strategy and thought starters. What I want to show you, what I found very exciting for myself, are the apps that Canva has put together for creative teams. So immediately you can see the apps that we love and use. As a single entrepreneur, I get to use a lot of these apps. I've used monday.com and I wanna show you that. I've used LinkedIn, Type Gradient. You've seen the video that we've created on Type Gradient and Asana. I haven't used some of these apps, but they've put apps together for creatives that they know that creatives use and they could be useful for us. So the monday.com app is absolutely amazing because it put my work together and have a workflow of what's going on with whichever project that I'm busy with and I can track my project and track my video editing and I don't lose sight of what it is that I'm doing. So if you open the monday.com app and you say, I want to use it in an existing design or use it in a new design, it's up to you. You can just open it up and then link it to your Canva. It's important that you link it to your Canva in order for the two to talk to each other. So say we choose a whiteboard and we're using a new design. Awesome. Canva is going to open the monday.com app on this side. Then it's going to ask you to connect the app to your monday.com site. So if you have an account with Asana or monday.com, you can connect the two. So then you can have access to your workspace and your dashboard that you are using on your monday.com while you are in Canva. Very, very useful, I think. And what I want to show you, then your boards are available for you there. If you go to your monday.com app, it's important to take note that you need to link the two. So on your name, you're going to select your name to go make sure that the app is linked. So it's under your name and under the app marketplace. So on your app marketplace, your Canva app would be one of the apps that are showing on your monday.com. You see, the installed app that I've added on my monday.com is the Canva. And because it's linked and it is showing on my workspace, when I go back to my Canva, I'm able to see and access my boards that I'm busy with on my monday.com then i'm able to especially the design side of things 
then I'm able to manage whatever it is that I'm busy with while I'm working and designing on Canva. I think this is pretty cool for us creatives. Super excited about. We always look for graphics. Let me just say, I always look for graphics. I would type cat and I would say graphics and I would look for a particular graphic and scroll through until I find a graphic that I want to use and I would edit my design and carry on like that. I find this quite exciting. You know why? Because if you scroll down on your menu, you need to scroll down to magic media. And with glow up, I don't know where Canva is going to add this on wherever they're going to add it, but they've already rolled it out to us that we can use immediately. This is magic media, you creating your own graphics with prompts. I think this is quite cool. So we used to have images and videos. Now we have graphics. So if you select graphics, you can type your prompt and then you can create different types of graphics. Say you're doing a handwritten animation, you can do doodles, you can do stickers, you can do line art, you can do geometric, it's up to you. You can even do 3D Chrome when you type your own prompt and you create your own graphic. So let's try out one and get a nice inspiration from the Canva tool. If you say inspire me, they write the prompt for you and then you can choose the style or you can leave it to Canva to come up with the style for you. Then you click on generate. And there we go. It is graphics that are created by me and in line with whatever design that I'm busy with. So you can click and add it to your design that you're currently busy with. And then the tool just adds it on here. I've tried out these three. But what I want to show you last thing with creating these graphics, when you click on information, it shows you that the image is generated by AI and it is me a day ago. So this is absolutely fantastic. I think that we can, we are now able to create our own graphics based on whatever project that we're busy with. Next on our list, let's look at animation. If you select an object to be animated, we still have it. I've seen comments somewhere that the create animation is going to go away with glow up. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it, but I hope Canva doesn't do that. But they might have moved it to something else on glow up, which is why we are not all on glow up because they are testing to see what users like and what users don't like. We love create animation Canva. Please don't remove it from our workspace. We absolutely love it. So the changes or what is new that I've seen is the appear on click. If you have a presentation and you probably might have worked on PowerPoint presentation, sometimes when you're presenting, you want a slide or you want an, uh, an image or a graphic to come through or to appear when you click. So this option is available on presentation settings. It's a choice that's available now that, did, that we didn't have in the past. The other animation I wanna show you, when it comes to the basic animation, the blur animation, that's new, and the succession animation, that's also new, that came through just now with Canva Create 2024. Next would be on our elements section. You might have missed this, but if you scroll down below, frames and grids canva has now added the mockups just below the grids and i believe with the canva glow up that's coming up the menu is going to change and we're going to find mockups on the right hand side of things but for now as i've recorded this video in june and i don't have glow ups mockups are here i love that mockups are here so you would pick the mockup that you would like to use from the list and then adjust it and add it to your canvas and you can edit the mockup. So next we're gonna go to our uploads tab and let's find one of the logos we've done. Let's use this logo, click and hold the logo and drag it to the mockup and load it on top of the mockup. And then it starts loading and adding it to the image or the mockup. And you can size it. You can adjust your alignment and you can do a flip if you want. And you can also change the t-shirt's color. So say we want black and we apply. 
this is pretty cool absolutely absolutely let me know in the comments below if this is adding value if it's pretty cool if you're going to use this for now while we wait for glow up and let's look at the next change next on our list is video video has been enhanced and video what we can see now before canva rolls up glow up is when you select a video and you click on edit video the changes that you can make now is the new one that we have is highlights the highlights shows us the best moment in a video clip and you can edit your video effortlessly the other one that's also new we didn't use to have adjusting the video the warmth the saturation the color the vibrance we didn't use to have this we used to have just background remover but now there's these two that have been added that we can have access to right now before it gets rolled out to everyone so with adjusting that's very similar to what you do when you are adjusting on an image it is you just adjusting how it looks and the brightness and the contrast to suit whatever video that you're editing for with the tools this exciting one the highlights when you select it unfortunately it is a canva pro user so if you want to test it out you're more than welcome to use my link in the description below when you click on highlights then canva will go to the video and pick and choose what it thinks it's best for you so it has chosen three seconds of expressive gestures and it has chosen 3.5 seconds of surprised reaction and then the final pose and there's my three seconds of those expressive gestures that we had so if i select on the expressive gestures i still have access to the video the whole video still have access i can still adjust and trim the way that i want but the highlights has highlighted what is very noticeable by the ai itself there's another one that is an auto trim that's also new that you could use and auto trim is also used for is used by canva pro users as you can see it auto trims the clip and it helps you edit your videos on canva let us look at our mobile or the app version of our canva when you open the interface and again, like I said, I don't have access to Glow Up yet. The menu at the bottom of the page of our home page has changed. The new thing that I've picked up, the Teams option, is Canva is focusing on Teams. When you click and you open the Teams, you're able to see the Design Together logo as the team. And when you scroll down, it shows you what you can find under Teams. And it tells us that we have unlocked changes as well as other features that are available for teams so changes would be magic design has been improved magic write has been improved magic edit has been improved when you click and you break it down to all the 33 other team features that canva has improved and added we have a new one that we don't have access to yet it is the enhanced voice highlights we've seen on video we've seen the highlights and we've showed it together of that it picks up the highlights of your video that you could be using as a clip on your social media uh, TikTok or Instagram reels and there's the auto trim that's also something new that we've seen now on video so when you scroll down you get to see mock-ups which we've seen and we've now also see that there's a blend and when you scroll down resize and magic switch has also been improved so these features that we don't yet see when canva is ready they're going to roll them out and we will be able to see them but as they roll them out they will show us that this is new then we can test it out and use it for our individual as sole entrepreneurs but they will roll it out for sole entrepreneurs as well including the teams i just wanted to show you how it looks like on your app lastly this is for educators and nonprofit users 
they are able to get a free affinity with all of the whistles and bells that come with affinity. So I will link this page in the description below if you qualify and you can go check it out so that you can have yourself added on the waiting list to hear how you can get access to affinity. If you're a non-profit organization or if you're in, ed you're in education and you qualify based on Canva's requirements, I would suggest that you add your name to be on the list. Please like, share and subscribe. I will see you on our next video.